Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. This is Anubhav and in this video we will be learning about Vue.js but before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss any update from Simply Learn. So without further ado, let's begin and see what's in it for you. First, we will see the introduction to Vue.js. After that, we'll see what is a JavaScript front-end framework. Moving ahead. We'll see what is Vue.js, after that, what is Progressive Framework, and then we'll see the features of Vue.js. So let's begin. Before we start using Vue.js, you must have intermediate level knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It might not be a good idea to start with a framework if you're completely new to the front-end programming. A modern framework for creating user interface is called Vue. It is in progressive framework and an open source. Vue.js is used to create dynamic web interfaces. One of the well-known frameworks for streamlining web development is this one. The view layer is where Vue.js focuses. It may be seamlessly integrated into a large front-end development projects. Vue.js installation is pretty simple to begin with. Integrative web frameworks are simple to understand and quick to construct with any developer. Formal Google employee, even you, is the creator of Vue.js. Vue.js initial version was released in February 2014 and it is currently rated as 64,000 plus stars on GitHub. A progressive JavaScript framework called Vue.js is utilized to create interactive web interfaces. The front end or the view portion is given considerable attention. The integration with other projects and library is fairly simple. Vue.js is relatively easy to install and beginners can quickly grasp its concepts and begin creating their own user interfaces. The JavaScript framework for creating user interfaces called Vue.js, which is also the easiest to understand, focuses mostly on the Vue part. Vue 2.0 will be the version we utilize throughout this course. In future videos, we will deal with a lot of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS file because U is primarily designed for front-end development. Now, let's move on to what is a JavaScript front-end framework. Vue is the ideal introduction to the JavaScript framework if you are not familiar with them. Modern applications are made possible by the JavaScript framework. They are frequently utilized on the web. Modern JavaScript applications also serve many desktop and mobile applications. A JavaScript front-end framework is a group of JavaScript code libraries that help programmers in performing common tasks and functionalities. In order to make the app easier to develop, it also provides reusable code components, a universal development environment, compilers, toolsets, code libraries, APIs, etc. Now, Let's move on to what is Vue.js. A JavaScript front-end framework called Vue.js used to create user interface. It provides a declarative and component-based programming approach that enables you to quickly create user interface. No matter how straightforward or complex they may be, it works on a top of the industry standard HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. When using Vue.js, you can add directives which are HTML attributes. HTML app can function thanks to Vue.js directives. Built-in and user-defined directives are also available in Vue.js. You don't need prior knowledge of Webpack, Vbuild, NPM or anything else to start with Vue. But Vue makes it simple for you to rely on them when you are ready. Vue.js is referred as a progressive framework because Changes and improvements are made on a regular basis because it makes it easier for us to construct single page application and a dynamic user interface. Vue.js works on top of industry standards like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now, let's see what is a progressive framework. First, what is the meaning of progressive? This means the framework is used in addition to HTML markup. In short, it is a data model that is connected to a template model. A progressive is a framework that is progressive adjusts to the complexity of a project as it is. The changes and the improvements are made on a regular basis on Vue.js. 
Vue.js makes it easier for us to construct single page application and dynamic user interface. Now let's move on to the features of Vue.js. The first feature of Vue.js is Virtual DOM. The virtual representation of a DOM is called Virtual DOM. A JavaScript object that is identical to the real DOM is constructed using Virtual DOM. Every time a modification to a DOM is required, a new JavaScript object is formed and the modifications are made. Later, the final changes are updated in the actual DOM after a comparison of the two JavaScript objects. The second one is data binding. With the help of binding directives called vbind, which comes with Vue.js, the data binding functionalities acetates in manipulating or assigning values to HTML attributes, changing the styles and assigning class. The next one is components. One of the Vue.js key features components enable the creation of the unique elements that can be reused throughout HTML. Now let's move on to the next one, which is event handling. In order to listen the events in Vue.js, the DOM elements have the property called vOn which helps them to handle the program. The next one is the transition or you can say animations. When HTML elements are added, changed or removed from the DOM, Vue.js offers a variety of techniques to apply transition. For the transition effects, an element must be wrapped in a built-in transition components of Vue.js. The interface can be made more interactive and third-party animation library are also simple to add. Now, the next feature of Vue.js is computing properties. One of the Vue.js key characteristics is computing properties. It is beneficial to pay attention to the UI element changes and makes the appropriate calculations. No further coding is required for this. The next one is the templates. It provides HTML based template that connect the data from the Vue.js instance to the DOM. The templates are converted into simulated DOM render functions. The templates for render functions can be used by web developers who can then swap out the template for the render function. The next one is directives. The built in directives in Vue.js can be used to carry out a variety of front end tasks including VF, VLs, VShow, VON vbind and vmodel. The next one is routing. View routing is used to navigate between pages. And with this, we have reached the end of this video. In the next video on Vue.js, we will see how to install Vue.js and we will create and learn new things about Vue.js. So make sure to like and share it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.